You can say goodbye to that one, Joe. We all know Matt Watson from the ITM fishing show. It might seem crazy using a bait this size for a snapper, but believe me, a big snapper will eat that. The world knows him after his daredevil fishing antics got global attention. <laughs> wow. Matt even put down the rod and picked up a hammer. He and wife Kayleen creating the ultimate home in threes building the Kiwi dream. It's just water, salt water. Yeah, no shit. Now a new doco takes a look back at his 20 years in television. And we captured just these incredible moments. Yeah, I got it. Please welcome Matt Watson, Matt. What is the ITM fishing show is huge. What is it about people watching fishing? What's the attraction? What kept them looking and watching? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I mean, I knew I loved it, right? Yeah. And it, I had this thing growing up that I just thought everyone else did. And it's really not until I got a little bit older and, well, I met Kayleen, yeah. and she's got no interest in fishing. And so um, I discovered that, um, funnily enough, you know, I was going out, I, was, I eventually got a job working on game fishing boats. And... I just, and I was talking to fishermen all the time, so I thought everyone just loved these adventures as much as I did. And then I'd come home and um, try and tell my wife, you know, my, my best mate about it, and I'd get answers like, look at these shoes I got from the warehouse. <laughs> it's eight bucks on special. And like, that, was, that was an answer well, to... Well, she'd swear at you like in that clip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's not go there. <laughs> yeah. um, so um, what actually happened is I started just filming a few things on, on a handy cam and I was looking after the kids one day when, when they were little and um, we were watching some of my home videos of my fishing adventures. Kayleen walks in and she's like, oh my gosh, what's happening on TV? That, that's crazy. Look at that guy grabbing that huge fish. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's me. Wow. Yeah. And, and at that moment it sort of taught me that this is the way to communicate this thing that I love. Um, to people That's that right. aren't into fishing. We've it's got your amazing wife to thank for you. <laughs> yeah. I've got to do everything, just thank you for everything, pretty much. And it's been a huge hit, um, a massive success. Is there any downside to being New Zealand's most famous fisherman? Um, going out in a boat that's got ITM fishing show written on the side of it <laughs> in the middle of summer, particularly when a lot of you lot are up in the Bay of Islands. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, just trying to get a, um, got to get a, Got to get away under the cover of darkness. Because, oh, because um, everyone follows you. Everyone follows me, yeah. I've, I've actually even been out like early in the morning with a group of mates, caught all our fish, we're done by 8 o'clock, and we've just been anchored out in front of the harbour cleaning up the fish. And the next thing you know, <laughs> not on a fishing, 30 boats anchored around. 30 boats anchored around us. And so. I've been with you on a boat ramp. It's like the Beatles have shown up. People want autographs <laughs> and selfies. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It is neat. Yeah. It really Speaking is. of um, famous fishermen, do you and Clark Gayford ever hang out and go fishing together? Uh, or is there a bit of competition there, maybe? Um, no, no on both, actually, I think. Mm. Um, like, um, I mean, it's... Um, He's welcome I, to call? I, yeah, I bumped into <laughs> him and, and, and seems like a nice bloke, but um, you yeah, we've got fishing in common, but probably not a lot else. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much all-consuming, yeah. yeah. Um, can you give us the very short, very family-friendly version of the time that you fell off the roof? This was before... Oh, you became okay. Matt Watson, fishing mm, yeah. guy. Um, family friendly, okay. <laughs> gonna, so yeah, it was. I mean, I was. I mean, I'm from a fishing family, so I was going to be a commercial fisherman. Um, and that my fishing career, my commercial fishing career, ended on Christmas Day in a punch up over a game of backyard cricket, because <laughs> my <laughs> uncle, who owned all the boats, was on the other team in this punch up. Oh, said, wow. But another uncle was a roofer, so he gave me a job, and that's how I became a roofer. Um, but I always wanted to go back to fishing and, and I thought the way to do that was just be the hardest working roof tiler ever. <laughs> and I'd been working seven days, missing out on fishing trips, longest period of my life without fishing. And uh, my mates had rung me when I was on the roof and told me that they were hooking into some big tuna out <laughs> off the coast. And I was imagining what it was like to be out there, you know, because <laughs> I was at work on a Sunday and I stepped over the edge of the roof <laughs> and landed um, on, well, not right off, but oh, on no. the guttering and one leg either side, guttering oh. sharp edge. So you can imagine where the cut ends up. Mm. And, and the way to do the first aid when you've got a cut there is to put your feet on the dashboard of your ute and adjust the rear view mirror. <laughs> and when I saw what the damage, like I was literally through half a roll of insulation tape, taping my cameras back on. <laughs> and, um, and my mates rang and they were like, hey, we're hooking in, we've got a triple hookup. Mm. And that was my epiphany. That was my moment where I'm like, man, you know, I'm at work on a Sunday, my mates are catching tuna, 
and I'm bleeding from the balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You should have filmed that. Yeah. yeah, you should have filmed that. So, That'd be a great so you, that was yeah. a turning point. <laughs> Focused on changing something else. Um, well, this is the doco is called Matt Watson in Too Deep, and it's on this Saturday, 7 p.m. on three, and you can find it on three now. Good up for Matt Watson. Yeah.